the finished product. I added a couple extra things that I didn't show on the making. I've put a little Australia there and an Africa over there because the phone is going to go into that and the phone will be recording and then we'll be able to pinpoint that that's Australia and over here is Africa. Yeah, there's a lot of people saying that um, that the FA model don't work. Well, let's have a look. I've right, got a couple of tin cans to prop that up. Yeah, let's go and have a look. There's Australia over there. And Australia on the map. On the flat earth disc. All right. There's Africa. Africa. Looking on your flat earth map, we stand in South Africa and looked south and saw Sigma Octans in, and the constellation Octans in the south. Then we went to South America and looked in the south and saw again the same constellation and the same star on the same place, a little bit higher, but horizon. And in South Australia, exactly the same. And now's my question, how can we see the same stars and the same constellations in the South on the flat Earth? We are looking in three different directions. Okay guys, we're in um, Coffs Harbour here at the moment, latitude 30, 17, blah blah blah, Coffs Harbour, there, New South Wales, Australia, um, and I'm choosing the date, Equinox this year, Equinox again, 3am in the morning. Okay, so that's the Coffs Harbour region, pointers are down here underneath. Um, take away the ground and there they are right now I want to go over now to whoop, wrong place I chose another place roughly same latitude over here on the east coast of Africa A little place called Scottsburg Click on that, and there's the crux, southern cross position, over there. So when I'm at Coffs Harbour, 3 a.m. in the morning on that day, southern cross will be over here, and in that Africa at Scottsburg, South Africa, southern cross will be here. I'm going to clap my hands to, um, so I can sync the, 
the camera video and the phone video. We've got the phone going and I don't want to make a real big file on that because it could be whatever. Here we go, one, two, three, clap. All right, we use that spike in the sand to sink the, uh, sink the two videos together. Yeah, you can see in the fan how it's reflecting off the side of the wall of the salad bowl. Alright, just move the stars. There goes the terminator line. See the stars moving around in the reflection. Alright, there's the lights up there. So that's the lights on the reflection. I'm just going to move this around here because I just want to try and show you what happens. Now watch those stars in the phone. I'll see if I can, no, if I zoom in anymore as I spin the geolocation. Now I'm going to spin the geolocator around and you watch the stars in the, um, the phone. See, they turn. The stars are still, but the geolocation. We're moving the geolocation, and the stars are rotating. All right, I'm going to get Australia there. And the west coast is actually the east coast. I've, I've got Australia over there stuck to the model, um, so you can recognise it. But the way the thing spins around, whoop, the way the thing spins around, um, clockwise here, it's going to come to the west coast first, so the west coast is like the east coast, but it's, I can't have the map down here, I have to have that there, so that's representing where Australia is. Right, so if we notice where that little green star is, which we'll show on the phone later because these videos are going to be synced. Come on. So we've got green at the bottom left, orange in the middle, and the crimson one up the top right. I had to get crimson because I couldn't get red. I wanted to make a traffic light colour scenario because uh, it's pretty universal in colours. Um, the other one, if you go uh, back anti-clockwise, after the green you've got blue, and then there's a the yellow one. And then blue again. I'll just arrange them in this way so we can distinguish the stars. All right. Now move the camera back over here. I'll unzoom. Right. Just got to get it out of the way because I'll end up knocking the camera over, the P900, concentrating on doing something else. Right, so now we're going to move that Terminator line around South Africa. South Africa, and we'll go back to Australia. Now, we want to have a look at the position of that green star. Oh, I forgot to say that green star is representing the Southern Cross. That is the position of the Southern Cross, the green star. Okay, I'll just establish that now. So the bottom left hand corner, just above the, to the, above and to the left of um, the blue part, Western Australia. Right, now what I want to do now, is I'm going to move the geolocation, okay? I'll move the geolocation and the stars will stay still. Well, they won't stay still on the freaking camera. Right, um, I'd better move it over here. It's Right, so I'm going to move the position of the geo location there. Right, so now we're not talking about times and time zones here right now. I'm talking about a moment. I'm, if I was on the phone there in Australia to someone in South Africa, that is the moment. That's not a time zone. So if I could say to someone, where's the Southern Cross right now over where you are? 
right? So this is what this is going to do. Now they spin around. <laughs> the southern stars, when they're still, and you spin around your geolocation, um, clockwise, then the stars go anti-clockwise. All right, so there's Africa. We'll get the west coast of Africa around about the middle. There, and the green star there was over on the right hand side. So, all right, that's where that is. Back to Australia with the geolocation. West coast of Australia, we'll put that in the middle. Green star bottom left, geolocator again, back around South Africa. Get the west coast of South Africa around about the middle of the screen. I've got to keep walking around this camera. Damn it. I haven't got enough room to swing a cat in this place. It's very hard doing this stuff. You should have seen how it went trying to make a model in here. Alright. I think that'll just about do it. That's enough proof, I think.